Yeah, I think when it comes I forgot who told us to ban Dinai. I think it was Pika who told us to ban Dinai. We are about to relive hell right here. You got a perma ban Leafeon? For sure. Something that YT has been good at both last year and this year is just picking a team and going straight after those pocket picks and saying, you know, a perfect example is last year in the May finals, stockings and shame the lore on stockings is a problem. Ban that every time, very targeted, and they ended up winning that event using that same strategy here in this. Yeah, we saw it on the stage call out as well. Chaotic can only play Sylveon and Ninetales. And I think they'd rather have him on that Ninetales, taking away that Sylveon. Makes <laughs> this will be good. Said that too. I know it's not the meta, but I do think there's a place for this Pokemon. I would love to see why. Dude, when we get there, I'll explain everything. Super cringe, by the way. Super cringe. Drop a like, guys. Fast. It has a pretty high win rate throughout this tournament as well. I'm taking a look. They're hovering this Hoopa, and it really has felt like a Hoopa-based tournament. You're a big time. A lot of people play players. Hoopa, dude. It's just too freaking good. How do you feel about Hoopa's I'm surprised they didn't pick it yeah, against us, to be honest, to in this match. Teams always like to fall back on that Hoopa, giving you that macro play. That Our comp so far is so strong front really to back. To be able to develop a lead with, and it's a safe pick. A lot of teams have a lot of practice on it. You can never really count out that Hoopa. Dodrio on the side of Nihao. This is a Pokemon that I feel like comes in and out of the meta constantly. It never does poorly. And then every time it's back, everyone goes, oh man, Dodrio's back. That's right. We're going to have to deal with this. A Dude, lot. do you guys want to see maybe chat? Some, some of the chat right here is too cringe. Or maybe it's the flavor of the week. Hey, look at this guy, Kempo. Kempo is like... Fui's the reason why T is so cringe. Pikadif is a decent dude. And then you see Yohim's like, let's go to YT. You know, maybe we should change things up. You kind of lose your confidence on that Pokemon. And then when you get back on that big stage and you have a really good moment, everyone remembers, like you said, that maybe this Pokemon might not be that bad. Yeah, I feel like that's that's a great way to look at it. They lose a couple games and then they say, all right. The quality we'll is so game. bad on the Unite stream for some reason. We're heading through our final preparation. It's actually right so bad. Between Team YT and Nihau. Ender, any parting words before we send you away for a bit? Uh, I'm happy to be here. NAIC, the crowd. Dude, I love Ender's commentary. I wish he's always there. He's actually so good at commentating these things. Really happy to see. But this is on 1080. A little under the radar when playing online tournaments get their chance to Dude, play on a big stage. So I'm happy. I don't understand. Maybe that's on me. I should not have ran focus ban on Blaziken. If I ran uh just full damage, it would have been a whole different game. For our next game here, Team YT versus Nihau. You ready? Hey, look, that's me chewing gum. Do I never chew gum too? It's my first time chewing gum. Yo, Arvin, it's actually in six days. So exciting to see my birthday. But thank you though. Understated, you know, doing it for the casters. I like the shout out that Ender had. Stream thumbnail, true. It is true. They're showing. We're doing a vod review right now. Outside of the competitive community that also loves Pokemon Unite. I was chewing bubble gum. I never chew bubble gum. That's right. I mean, I'm the only fans of YT. Yes, sir. Drop a like. Become a member fast. Are playing the things. They kind of dominate as you're moving through the the rank ladder, and you say, "Well, I think I can actually outplay you without Outrage Dragonite." You're not going to see it from a lot of. Someone says Samzakin in fact, chat. That's funny. So much that it is I felt like if I really ran focus, not focus one, ban, and but went full damage, it would have been a whole different game. Like I would have actually been able to do more damage right and kill it, the Glaceon, but. I troll this not to kind of troll. This fool's running XP share, uh, Dodrio. If, uh, this fool didn't miss his first stun, he would have killed him right here. Unfortunate. Looks like the laning is not bad early game so far. We got that. Wee Street is pretty good. I'm surprised he even got that right there. I thought Kilo could do something for him. Oh, I think they killed him here, right? Yeah, that is pretty good. I was actually shocked that they level 5 ganked with Glaceon. I thought he would just level 4 cheese gank at 930, but he didn't. I just wanted to knock this away and get it guaranteed. Still a Doe duo, so things are going really well for Team YT. 
We technically should scale better too. I'm surprised that. Actually, let's just watch it. I don't know if that's a good idea for Aquila to just take the red. Maybe it is because they could kill him here. I guess that is worth, but he got another stack. By the way, if you guys didn't know, that's that XP share Dodrio. What's up, Unite Demon? How you doing? We get all the mid bees too. Actually, we don't get the big one. My freaking freaking chaotic did not hit it. I have no idea what just happened. How? Oh, this wolf we went into their jungle and died. Literally got an XP lead and died. Freaking eject. Pop. Boom. Dead. Dude, I really wish I had Blaze the other build, like, uh, attack weight. Yeah, the amazing thing about Blaziken is it only needs eight, right? You know, some Pokemon needs nine for that Unite move. Oh, man. This got bopped so freaking hard right there. Eight is an amazing place to be. You've got some move switching. You're ready to head down to the bottom path and secure this bottom Reggie. That is hitting the map right now. Little old school Pokemon United, the whole team show. Dude, oh, this game is so cringe, dude. So I plugged in my phone wireless wired. And I didn't have the setting apparently where like supposed where it like uh, it's more smoother when it's wired. So then my thing is all delayed. Everything I do was delayed. I thought it was just like something wrong with my my setup but it was actually like the the wired setting so then i was always delayed by like 0.5 seconds every time i used the ability we troll so hard right here by the way okay Kilo not port me there what, what he didn't do anything so GP. Maybe a blessing in disguise. Victor and sent back, but the Glacians rolling up pad gave Team YT a false sense of security. They were low on HP after a decent scrap from Nihon. Yeah, we lost so much momentum right there for no reason. Victor was there for the KO. Glacians literally level 10 now. He literally does so much damage. Beautiful stuff there as we see this fight. Yeah, we shouldn't have dove that. Yo, what's up, Geo, dude? You know, Espeon has incredible secure with that Psy Beam, and it looks like they're doing pretty great. Level 9 there in that bottom path. Yeah, but look at this. Victor and all of a sudden level 11 in the biggest character in the lobby where Ni Hao was just a little bit behind on the experience race. Now Dodrio going to be able to get Yeah, Glaceon was so freaking strong this game. Can run uh, essentially a rough shot through the YT team whenever they want to engage. This is interesting. We don't see a Oh, what the heck? You have two accounts. That's crazy. Get two accounts. Watch it now fast. Dude, the first day of the final stretch was too funny. It's going to be interesting seeing how they want to play around this in some of these big fights. Uh, Bits using the tri attack version of Dodrio, so they're going to have to get some good spacing, and YT needs to figure out how to get their blaze. There's nothing going on right now. Let me just skip a little. Ready to play because they need it now. Technical issue is pretty cringe. I will talk about it when we get there. This is a pretty good 1.5. He didn't have to unite though, because the moment he won a uh, united, he lost the shield and we couldn't kill the Umbreon. The Umbreon stalls so freaking long. Plus, we can't even kill him. I tried to chase him and kill him, but he's I think he's double stack or something. Yeah, I mean, meanwhile, Victor and Kurtan were able to do some work on the scoreboard the other way to really mitigate that push that YT put together in, oh. in that sense. And then Umbreon's going to make it out with a sliver of HP. Bits running by and finding out that there's four players on Y2 there to snuff them out. Wow, that Umbreon uh, absolutely won. We didn't have to waste time, but the only reason why we wasted so much time is because he united. The Crestle united, and then we lost the... We lost... It took forever to kill it. When's Sarah Lish coming out? Holy, I didn't even know. 
running right at them. And I'm a tree falls in the forest. Can you hear it? Nihau certainly is. Yeah, Nihau's definitely hearing it and they're feeling it. I'm so shocked that Fui did not take that port. Like, you see it in front of you and you could have just took the port. Fui is so scared of ports, of her team ports. Like, right now, we thought, like, bro, it's fine. We're going to scale and win the game. Literally, Fui is so allergic to ports. Literally, it's a free fountain back, full HP. Oh, this will miss that. Just biding their time is interested in how to contest. This is a free uh objective. He doesn't get this. The only way he could have got that if he maybe autoed it. That was fair. You just saw the sliver of a offset for a moment and Regis almost if there was an again they are already up. Uh we called to team fight up here and probably go for the fight. But we didn't like say to like commit like that. We just said just like if we, if just to get them off the Reggie. But that's kind of troll that Pika Div did that and lost his eject and focus ban. I think Fui had to immediately unite here, but it was kind of late. Pram united, everyone started uniting. The Glaceon got the freest game. Literally the freest game. I'm actually shocked. How, how did he get this free game? Also, if we could have just uh, used his Unite on the Cram and one-shotted him. Or like use his like Pain Split on the Cram and one-shot him. But he already used it. Yeah, I'm actually shocked that uh, Hoopa did not Unite either. And then here I super trolled by dashing into the Rayquaza. I think... I thought Akilah was actually going to go fight the Glaceon. But he did not. He didn't even pressure the dude. Chaotix is doomed. I don't even know what to say. That's why you drop Hoopa Unite. Or that's why you drop Portal and then Hoopa Unite. Dude, it's so sad. The Glaceon had the freest freaking game that game. We actually threw this so freaking hard. <laughs> oh, we threw that so freaking hard. That's too funny. But you could easily drop Hoopa Unite and. Or drop Portal, then Hoopa Unite. I think it was the same pick and bands. Or sick pick, same bands at least. I think after this, I was like, dude, I'm at the. Let's just play like, super, super comfort and go back to. I think I was Guardy, right? This is literally the most comfort of the comfort picks. When we saw the Talon Flame, when we were playing Guardy, I was like, oh no, this is not good. Pull out the guardy if they give it to me. Yeah, it could be a really exciting choice, right? Because every time Garchomp wants to go in, it will have a shield that is at least gonna chunk a huge amount of damage away from all these special. Let me hear ya. We've got Soinks turning to the camera, an easy cheese and a smile. Holy! Oh my God! I remember these fools troll bot so hard. Dude, look at they leashed that and then they walked over. And they don't even get this, do they? Do they get that? Here we go. Game 
number two, Team YT, your first oh, player. they barely got that with the A9 combo. Oh my god, they almost lost that too. Oh my god, they almost lost that too. Criminals. Nothing really going on right now. We're so strong top, so I didn't really think I needed to be there. I'd rather just play for bot right here. I think Pika's super trolled here again. So we're going to combo all this, which is good. But we should dove, but then Pika walked backwards. These guys walked backwards. I mean, it's a 4v2 freaking trolling, bro. Literally 4v2, they're diving top with three people. We have to actually full trade immediately. Like, we just lose tempo. But then Fui is literally playing out of body and killed one 3v2 or 3v1. Like, you always go for the force. You have to force play that if you have an advantage. If you know they're playing opposite side, it's like chess. You can't just give up the other side. You have to immediately play for the other side. Like, it's such a disadvantage, the 4v2, and then you try to back off. But we are so ahead right here. I think I think he dies here, right? Well, we barely lived. That guy's so dead with an auto attack. That guy's dead as well. I literally almost got one shot by the candle. Sam player of the game every game. Gotta, gotta break my back. We gotta win these games. That's life or death right here. Yeah, Tree is just so broken. Tree is actually so broken. <laughs> Dude, if you're a YT fan, you'd be stressed every game, by the way. We got one out every freaking every single, uh, what do you call it? Every series. It's like, what the heck are we doing? There's no way that guy got it, by the way. I already calculated my damage when I threw it. If we had Unite, I know that guy was going to do that. Or uh, Unite and go on him. We got like six months, Hunter. I don't think we no just quite yet it's gonna be really hard to take down that trevenant you saw that from this whole chaotic is trying to score on top of them guys why was it so cold in there dude it was so freaking cold man like oh my goodness gracious were you there slippy it was so freaking cold dude i was on a uh, stage i was freaking freezing i was playing the uh, on day one, I was actually so freaking cold. You guys hear what Spragos just said? We have to win this. Dude, this fool freaking played that so bad too. Freaking Aquila, look at this. Bro, he, all he had to do was stand out there. But he takes his own port and lets him jump for free. We would have killed him. moment that was almost a massive catch there just talent flame happened to be going through the bush at bush as it went over that jump pad that was uh, and a good reaction time by chaotic to be honest we're popping the rings on back because they want to siege this goal zone before the next reggie alecki hits the poltergeist builds the living room water boys on the front side can they actually get a ko they're stunned down beam down and that got bopped right there fairy singular this well is about to get bopped those all do I swear, Guardy, if you're just playing front to back with the enemies front to back, you always win. You actually always win. It's so broken. It actually beats Candle in a 1v1 too. 
objective, which means they have a very high likelihood of just being able to rip this away before YouTube can get there, and they do. Nice slow beam, and they're going to get a quality catch. This away before you on this objective, which means they have a very high likelihood of just being able to rip this away before. Yeah, and they really just ripped it 4K on us. Nice slow beam, and they're going to get a quality KO on bits there. Rock Tomb is not going to prevent Fui from going back. They're just going to base the hard way here. As so sad, Sam Aquilo plays super support in most games. Wait, what is super support? What does that mean? So I could eat an apple through a letter box. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I said that slash they like <laughs> in this hoodie. That's hella funny. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was pretty hot outside, but that does not translate to yo, let's set the temp to like 60 degrees out inside. This is the last time to unite, so everyone literally is dropping unites on cooldown right now. Caught. Now chaotic steps up, tries to freeze up Victor, but they're gonna go back. The candle stays aflame. Here we go, big time fly land. Guess that's a good trade, but not really. Garchomp uniting here is kind of troll, by the way. Killing a support with for ult at that timer is not worth. It's actually one of the worst trades to do that. So don't do that. Don't do that. Even if they got this, it doesn't really matter either. I actually thought they were going to flip this game looking at their composition. So I think somewhere I told like, yo guys, we got to literally walk on their side, you trolls. So I wanted them to go f like on their side to the right side of the ray pit. I don't know if they're expecting YouTube with their tournament life on the line, with their chance to go to worlds on the line. We play pretty calm this game too, even when we're 0-1. Well, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone, but like for me, I was pretty pretty chill for the most part every game. Garchomp was level 11. He's so freaking doomed. I don't even know what he was doing for eight minutes of the whole entire game. He's level 11. We got the steel buff, so I wanted them to fight as well. Dude, I love playing support. I would play support. Look at this. So, we lost to these guys, I think, last time. Or was it Ignorance or something? When we didn't rip it. So, I hit it to like 60%. And then I realized they're not even here. So, then I just full ripped it. I called the rip call here. So, I'm like, guys, rip it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna rip. I was like, rip right now, rip right now. And that's how you do it. Dude, never hesitate to take these rip calls, by the way. Every time, <laughs> every time the camera focus on Flea looked like he had a poo. I was too far from Flea to even see that. I low key could play support at the highest level. I love playing supports, actually. The only reason why I like playing uh, carries is because. Actually, it's not even that I like playing carries that much. I only play carries because it's hard to trust people to carry. I like playing defenders and supports, actually, and like call it if I was them. But this game was just basically just, uh, what do you call it? I hit it to 70%. They didn't walk up. I hit it to 60%. They didn't walk up, but then Fui engaged, so then I just full ripped it. It's actually so easy of a uh, place to do that. There's actually so much respect to ban someone's player. 
if you take away Alolan Ninetales or ban Alolan Ninetales and don't pick Sylveon, if that's the only Why was he crazy, Hunter? What happened? Place to this level is A9 and Sylveon, and you give Almost like, just go crazy on them. Pokemon is super strong. It's the one with the... <laughs> I right, do sit in the middle. Who got MVP this game? Does this say who got MVP? Or does it not matter? What the heck? They didn't even show who got MVP that game. Yo, what's up, Rex? I'm, I'm watching these games right now. I'm watching us get soul crushed. Like the stream fast. Wait, Rex, are you scrimping right now? Team YT, your orange team. Knee how your purple team as we head into this final match. Going straight into the bottom half. Chaotic and Pika Diff. They've been working together well in these last two games. Dude, who did we pull out? We pulled Buzz and we we got a Hoopa invade. Even more so. Here we have the Hoopa making Oh, he didn't even get that. Looking to steal something away. They look, they see that the blue buff is already gone. As they could do some working their way to the central area, and they could make it there. They forgot Fui's buzz, dude. He literally invented that shit in NA. Dude, that's so egregious to 930 gank bot. Actually does nothing, by the way. If you 930 gank, it's to help your top laner to get stacks. You know it's so egregious too. Aquilo, <laughs> apparently Aquilo was hitting the. If you look at the mini map right now, he's hitting the red buff, and he leashed it for the dude, and he came over. He eject dashed and got it. So Titar is actually like getting so freaking ahead. It's like he's like four. I think he's about to hit five. He's so close to hitting five right here, but he left and went bot instead. So we had to just five man or four man top. But I think we didn't need everyone here. <laughs> we didn't need everyone here. We could have just actually defended bot, but free controlled. Yeah, Pika Diff's just got a real tough time down there. Actually, what's up, Shingo? You guys hear their casting or no? But they were able to push them back. Score wise, YT is now up 73 to 55. So it looks like that swung a little bit in the favor of YT. Yeah, and honestly, Pika Diff able to evolve and then keep that goal zone standing. Uh, we out. Cusp runner in some trouble right here, but they were able to get their entails here. Also, they're level five, so they're kind of difficult to deal with. Pretty low on HP right now, and they are KO'd finally by Alolan Ninetales. Yeah, but at least it gets some experience back to Alolan Ninetales. The thing I want to point out... This whole Fui is so freaking ahead. ...facing is not as violent as game one, or excuse me, game two, to this game right now. Yeah, no, it's not as bad, but that Tyranitar still... Obviously, they would love that to be level eight very close to their evolution as we head towards this objective. It looks like for these first Reggies, we will not have a Tyranitar. Well, Titar's two levels behind. Yeah, now we themselves are level eight. Aquilo about to take over to six, and we are just picking them up, putting them down, and it's becoming very difficult for Nihao. To I love this run, by the way, despite how it ended. It was legendary. Why do you say that? Why was it so legendary? Explain, Shingo. We've got a mean-look Umbreon paired up with that Blizzard Avalanche and a Gardevoir. That is really gross. If they're able to catch... This comp is so broken, by the way. The one we have. It's like one of our OG comps as well. It really is, right? They, you know they're really setting up a gargantuan fairy singularity. YT is going to start working on this red to steal. Pikadiff taking a forward position here to make sure that there's no real play. Now, this, there's the mean look. They stopped the red to steal. There's a little bit of a bait. They get a quick KO on Dustin. They should have let us. They should have. They really should have. Facing red to steal is gone. And great play by YT. Very coordinated. Yeah, that was a beautiful play by YT. Exactly what they wanted. Massive fairy singularity. Huge unite move from Diff as they head up into the sky. Espeon Dude, they were not ready for this. You're getting caught in another mean look. And now Trevenant is trying to punish this guard of war right here. Hopefully, YT. <sighs> Actually, we weren't even ready. We had to leave too after this. Catch them inside another mean look. Get out, YT. Do not give this up. Almost the repositioning on the wood hammer could have been catastrophic. So sad Sam is getting chased, popped up by the cotton spore. I'm looking at So Sad Sam because that's the real target here. They're able to flip the script on Dust Runner and put them to bed. So at least it didn't. Yeah, I barely got out of that. I got caught by the reverse hammer. But I ejected the other way and then ran backwards. 
YT was able to pull them out of that situation. It got pretty dicey there for a moment here in this bottom path. As we've got Imagine calling Pika a cheater for their, inter their uh, internet or ether adapter disconnecting him. Blizzard, Avalanche, Mean Look, not just iron them down with so sad Sam. And it's working so far. They just can't get caught because that is trouble. Someone in chat apparently called you a cheater or disconnecting. <laughs> don't say give me there. Yo, this fight was so crazy, by the way. Oh, look at this. I pour into a freaking Delphox Unite, too. Oh my god, Titar is so blind. He could have killed me here. Look at I pour in front of him. But then they're Delphox and LD. Look at Delphox and LD right here. Got double United one shotted. This world chaotic missed so many Unites, by the way. Look at this. Bro, what is the. This world chaotic is different on the. What the heck? This was different. You disconnect and let the AI play for you. That is cheating. It is pretty cheating how to do that. We should just let the AI play for us the whole entire time. We shouldn't even have said anything. We should just be like, yo, don't even tell them that you're DC'd. And you're walking to their side. Nah, that pad defense was too broken. We full held it. And they lost so much momentum on that, by the way. Look how behind they are. They're 10, 10, 10, 10. And we're 12, 12, 10. We are so freaking head. This little chaotic needs to learn how to farm for real. I'm glad that's still alive two years later. Yeah, it's really it's or finally relevant, I guess. Yeah, it actually means something right now. As we head down to this bottom path, red shining around bottom, Reggie has been fighting. This comp is too good, by the way. Whether they won or lost the We know that the tree is there. And you know what happens when the tree is there by himself. They're not ready for it. Tree had a unite just to get out of that. And had a Delphox unit for that. Bro, Pika should not even have done that. It does nothing. Here we go. You can see Fui, by the way, has been really absent from a lot of this. He's almost level We actually did nothing the whole entire game. Like, but that's a good thing. All you had to do was just AFK farm the whole game and win the game. That's why sometimes top is just too fun, because you just get an AFK farm. Dude, this fool freaking got mean looked and got instant drop unite, by the way. It's so funny. That is so funny. And then Fui dies mid somehow. This fool just scored over me, I'm told it. Let go! Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this, putting me in a hella crazy position to go score. Yo, what's up, Curly? Curly 72. Play. They were well Look at this freaking... Wow, Unite! Boom! They were well aware of where Nihau was, and they know that we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, night. What the heck? Can you hear the caster on stage? No. There's so much white noise. And they know that no one is going to be able to take a jump pad and land on them. That's a pretty good combo, Unite. Unfortunately, he died. Talking about A9. This full T-Tar is just running down the whole team. What's up, Rilo? How are you guys doing? Yeah, I didn't hear any of the casters, so that's why I kind of re want to rewatch it. I don't believe that one's true. 45 seconds till Rayquaza. This game is still within striking distance for Nihau. The level Bro, I love, I love Spraggles. That fool loves to hype us. Here we go. YT, if they're known for anything this tournament so far, it's taking these bottom Reggies. I wonder why, too. Like, I've never interacted with them. Look at the levels on But I love and respect that. Maybe because we're just so entertaining to watch. Like, sometimes we do the most stupidest plays, and sometimes we do the craziest plays. It's so, like, it's so random. Sometimes you think we're not going to win the game, and then we just full wipe them and win the game. And then other ga times, like, we play against, like, mid-teams, and we just straight up lose. 
If I hit that, uh, Psychic, he actually would have died. Or Force of Unite. Oh my god, they were not ready for that, by the way. Dude, when the freaking... Dude, when I saw the freaking... What's his face? Espeon walked down from here. Look at this. He walks down from the corridor. I was like, what the hell is this clown doing? I'm gonna act like this fool chaotic did not just throw a unite like that. What the heck? Again, and eject! This fool... Dude, look at this guy. Chaotic? Oh my god, why are we doing that? Chaotic. Just chill. Just chill, bro. Stop panicking. Save it for this. Save it for this. Dude, that's the T-Tar, by the way. Bro, T-Tar could not play the game right here. Oh my god, he just freaking just jumped in and couldn't move. He got freaking Guardi Umbreon United. Dude, I didn't even know they got insta-insta wiped either. Like their whole team, I just pan real quick and it's just LD in the game. I was just like, what the heck just happened? They just got instant wiped. Dude, they were not ready. I don't even know what over the wall. The game is already over. No, I think A9 just has bad luck against Reggie's. No, they don't. You literally just move away from the LD or whatever. The Reggie's. Run! There's a minute left. We can still lose this. Oh my goodness. You guys, mobile, don't even know the range. Unless you go Oroville. No, Oroville is so freaking bad. Dude, you just combo, hit maybe auto one time, and you walk away. That's it. Dude, they could drop the Unite there. I was like, I'm not jumping on that. I'm going to wait. Ban out Sam or Kilo? You can't ban me out, by the way. Because I will whip out the first time fa Phalanx. <laughs> or is it to DC Pika? It might have to DC Pika, low key. That's the only way you win. It's too broken. The disconnection. Damn, he says, so sad Sam's Guardian. Holy. I started like four months ago, they made Reggie at like you push harder and Reggie rock would definitely throw rocks at you. No, it does it doesn't Last game should have been a remake, for sure. It really should have. It really should have. One day, Rice and Beans gonna compete in the world. Low key good. You guys took it seriously. For fun, first time, Phalanx. Yo, don't let them know. Don't let them know, Knight. Do not let them know. Don't let them know. Do you guys even know the story behind Phalanx? It was in day one. Look at this full of Kilo. He's hella happy. <laughs> Kilo is just like full smirky later. He's going right here. Look at him. Wait, wait, right here. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh my god, we freaking made it. We made it to the next. <laughs> I've been saying to switch to their phone and try and see if it works. Won't allow remake at all. Dude, some of the last games, holy, they are so troll. Like, a lot of the DCs. See, this is how you play jungle at the highest level, by the way. You better have the one of the highest KPs and, like, do probably the most damage, Loki. Because you get all the resources. If you can't do that, then you should honestly not play a jungle carrier role. Play something else. 
they understood that they need to get like if you're not consistently top two in damage you're not playing the game correctly Oh, that to my solo queue, well, guys. Players do not. Dude, Waterboy was so doomed. Stanley, that fool cannot play the game.